The United Kingdom Space Agency, commonly known as the UK Space Agency or UKSA, is an executive agency of the Government of the United Kingdom, responsible for the United Kingdom's civil space program. It was established on 1 April 2010 to replace the British National Space Centre BNSC and took over responsibility for government policy and key budgets for space exploration. It represents the United Kingdom in all negotiations on space matters. The agency brings together all UK civil space activities under one single management. It is based at the former BNSC headquarters in Swindon, Wiltshire. On November 30, 2018, it was announced that the agency will manage British satellites following Britain's departure from the EU. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Creation and aims. The establishment of the UK Space Agency was announced by Lord Mandelson, Lord Drayson and Astronaut Major Timothy Peake at the Queen Elizabeth II Conference Centre on 23 March 2010. Around £230 million of funding and management functions were merged into the UK Space Agency from other organisations. Improving coordination of UK efforts in fields such as Earth science, telecoms and space exploration will form part of its remit according to Lord Drayson prior to the creation of the agency the space and satellite industry in the UK was valued at 6 billion pounds and supported 68000 jobs the 20 year aim of the agency is to increase the industry to 40 billion pounds and 100000 jobs and to represent 10% of worldwide space products and services increasing from the current 6% this plan arises from the space innovation and growth strategy Space IGS report, published by the Space Innovation and Growth Team in February 2010, Dr. David Williams was appointed Acting Chief Executive on 1 April 2010 and he was confirmed as the first CEO on 1 April 2011. At the ESA Council at ministerial level in November 2012 the UK budget for space was significantly increased. Alice Bunn is the international director, although Space IGS called for the UK to double European Space Agency ESA contributions and to initiate and lead at least three missions between now and 2030, this has not been committed to, with Lord Drayson stating that, "...we will require a compelling business case for each proposal or mission." <laughs> Transfers of authority The UK Space Agency took over the following responsibilities from other government organisations. All responsibilities, personnel, and assets of the British National Space Centre ESA subscriptions from Natural Environment Research Council, Science and Technology Facilities Council and Technology Strategy Board, including project grants and post-launch support. UK elements of the space components of global monitoring for environment and security, and the Galileo Satellite Navigation System. The financial interest in the European Union Satellite Centre agreed in principle. Space technology and instrumentation funding from the Research Council's UK and Technology Strategy Board. Topic: <laughs> UK Space Gateway. The UK Space Gateway at Harwell, Oxfordshire is a focal point for growth in the UK's space sector. Harwell is home to a growing number of space organisations including start-ups, inward investors, corporate offices, the satellite applications Catapult, RAL Space and ESA's ECSAT facility. As of April 2016, the site is estimated to host over 600 space-related employees working in circa 60 organisations. The European Centre for Space Applications and Telecommunications ECSAT. ESA's UK facility, ECSAT, has been developing steadily since 2008, following the UK government's decision to increase its contribution to ESA. Named after the ESA's first British Director General, Roy Gibson, ECSAT's building hosts 100-plus jobs including teams in telecommunications and integrated applications. Special emphasis is put on the development of new markets for satellite-based services and applications. 
In addition, new satellite, ground infrastructure and product developments are being initiated through original schemes of public-private partnerships with world-class operators. The building also houses the Earth Observation Climate Office, science and exploration teams and technology and quality management teams supporting ESA research and development programs in the UK, focusing on game-changing technologies and capabilities. Topic: The Satellite Applications Catapult The Satellite Applications Catapult is an independent innovation and technology company, created as part of the Catapult Center's program to foster growth across the economy through the exploitation of space. The Catapult helps organizations make use of and benefit from satellite technologies, and bring together multidisciplinary teams to generate ideas and solutions in an open innovation environment. It was established in May 2013 by Innovate UK, formerly known as the Technology Strategy Board, as one of a network of centres to accelerate the take-up of emerging technologies and drive economic growth. It is a not-for-profit research organisation which is registered as a private company limited by guarantee and controlled by its board. Topic: <laughs> International Space Innovation Centre. A £40 million International Space Innovation Centre was created in 2011 at Harwell alongside the research facility for ESA. Some of its tasks were to investigate climate change, and the security of space systems. £24 million of the cost of the centre was to be funded by the government, with the remainder from industry. In April 2013, ISIC merged into the newly formed Satellite Applications Catapult. Topic. Independent Satellite System On November 30, 2018, it was announced that the UK Space Agency will abandon ties to the EU's Galileo Satellite System following Brexit. Instead, the agency will manage the United Kingdom's own system of space satellites. Topic. Other UK bodies RAL Space, based at STFC's Rutherford Appleton Laboratory, carries out space research and technology development. The Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, headquartered at Porton Down, Wiltshire, began a five-year programme of defence-related space research in 2017. See also British Space Programme UK Space Conference